Hey everybody, Andy Stickle here, and today I wanna to talk to you about something called the gap of disappointment. Now, what is the gap of disappointment? Well, I didn't come up with this. This is actually something that I experienced um, about a year ago in my marketing, and it's something that a company, I, I think that the company Moz is the one that came up with this, although I could be wrong, but that's where I came up with this. But basically what this is, I wanna show you what the gap of disappointment is with your marketing, and I wanna show you why it is actually the absolute best thing that could ever happen to your marketing, and why if you use the gap of disappointment to your advantage, why it will actually be your biggest advantage. Now, let me show you exactly what this is. Let me grab a marker here. So, I'm gonna color coordinate this. So, what happens when you launch a, a marketing campaign where you're actually creating content? And this is something, uh, anyone that follows me knows that I am always talking about putting out content, just release content, release content, release content, release content. And I've talked to a lot of lawyers who have taken my advice and they've done maybe like one or two videos and they do it and they're like, oh my God, it was, it was great. I did it and all my friends liked it, all my family liked it. I got tons of great comments, you know, and, and I got great feedback and I'm going to keep doing it. And I want to show you visually what happens when you, when you release new content. So this is the concept of the gap of, of disappointment. So initially what happens is you get started. So you create a piece of content and you get a really good ROI really quickly. And then it starts trailing off a little bit to where it almost drops all the way down. Because what happens is, and this is kind of like, if you can picture like month one, month two, month three, or maybe even month one, month two, month three, month four, month five. What happens is, for some reason, I don't know why, I don't know why this is, but it's a real thing, promise me. But what happens is, your ROI, it's really easy at first, and you get great results, and then as you kind of get through the honeymoon period, I guess we'll call it, your ROI starts dropping. So you end up dropping down here. And right here is where most people quit. And let me show you why. Because a lot of times, what happens is, you start, and this red marker is gonna represent your effort. It's really easy at first, and you're getting really good results, and it starts getting a little harder, and then it starts getting a little harder, and then it starts getting a little harder, and then the effort that is required keeps going up, but right here, your ROI is getting really low. So this right here, this section right here, is the gap of disappointment. We'll call it God, I guess. <laughs> Didn't really think about that one through, but this is the gap of disappointment right here. Basically what this is, and the reason it's called that is because your ROI and your effort are not in line right now. Right here, it was great. You put in very little effort and you got a great ROI, but then it started shifting. So now you've got this gap of disappointment. Now, here's why this is your advantage, because every single time, and this, this happened to me, this has happened to every single one of my clients that's gone through this. What ends up happening is it goes up and it goes down. And then eventually, usually month three or month four, your ROI goes right back up and it keeps going up. And it keep, if you could see this, it keeps going, it keeps going. Now, what happens with your effort? As this is happening, your effort, it kind of plateaus and then it starts dropping down. And you start getting these results with this effort. And this is the point that I'm at with my marketing right now. I'm way over here where basically I do a, li I put, uh, I do a little bit of marketing and I get amazing results. And I've got a lot of clients that do this exact same thing. But the reason why is because they got through the gap of disappointment. They got through this section right here, which is where most people quit. And that is why the gap of disappointment is your best friend. Because if you understand that what's going to happen if you've never done content before, I promise you, this is what is going to happen. So now that you know this is gonna happen, when you start, you'll get a good result, and then once you start dropping a little bit, once your, once your result goes down, and it's, it seems like there's a lot more effort that's involved, know that you're in the gap of disappointment. Know that you're in this section right here. And the nice thing about this is that this right here is where most people quit. That is where your competition quits. That's where all my competition quits. When I look, at other video channels, at other people that are trying to do lawyer marketing content. I can always look and I see they did stuff for a couple months and then they quit. It's because they got here, the effort was really good and then it started getting a little difficult and they start, stopped seeing the ROI, so they lost faith and they quit. But I promise you, if you can just keep going, you will end up here. And now you're at the point where you put in very little work and you get an amazing ROI because all the work that you did in this entire section right here, you're benefiting from plus all your new stuff. And that's where I am right now. Um, that's where my clients are right now. It's great because, you know, 
my clients will get retained from a video that they created a year and a half ago. So they're doing very, like literally no effort whatsoever and they're still getting clients from it. That's what I do. I get hired. People contact me left and right from videos that I created two years ago that I don't even remember creating. That's why, that's what I'm talking about where I'm saying very little effort, very good return on investment. So just know this, that basically if you create content, if you actually have a serious content creation strategy where, you know, you're, you're listening to what I'm saying and you're taking it seriously, you have to know that the gap of disappointment is going to happen and you have to welcome the gap of disappointment because once you get to the gap of disappointment, it means that you're closer to here. If you're still here, then it hasn't happened yet. But basically, you're going to get to this point right here and just know that the difference between you, your being successful and all your competition is that they quit right here because, it, because they can't see what's over here. So if you follow this, if you're aware of the gap of disappointment, if you keep going through it, I promise you, you will get to that high R. ROI and low effort. So if you have any questions, if you have any comments, if, if, if you do content and you've experienced this yourself, let me know in the comments below. I'm really interested. Um, I promise you this is a real thing. And, and knowing this, just knowing this puts you at an advantage over everyone else. So I hope you guys have a good day. I hope this is helpful. And uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks.